Hi again, this is Rick with AmazingAccuracy.com and today is November 15, 2012. It is currently 5.11 p.m. Chicago time. Continuing on the subject of the trend line indicator that uh, I made a video on, uh, an indicator that uh, method of that uh, W. D. Gann um, teaches in his courses of decades ago and that I highly recommend uh, the study of GAN material as it uh, much of it has given me uh, a lot of ideas as to where to look for uh, new discoveries of uh, market forecasting and uh, I owe so much to my study of GAN material uh, as well as to uh, others that have written on the subject over uh, many years in the past so um, what we're going to do is continue on the trend line indicator in this case now is is how to take advantage of the trend line indicator uh, as part of your uh, analysis and your trading now as you can see here I have uh, created a graphic of the Australian US dollar forex pair As a matter of fact I just I'll just write it in here it's the AUD slash USD it's the forex pair okay so I'll just write forex and <clears throat> what I've done is I just cut it out of my um, chart using a, a screen capture uh, program and uh, that way I'm I'm drawing all these lines and stuff uh, for your benefit and what I wanted to bring out here, let's see if I can get a cursor back here. I guess I can't. Um, what I wanted to uh, point out here is if you'll notice, these are the recent uh, daily moves going back some, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, about, oh, a month and a half worth here, okay, of moves in the Forex, the Australian dollar Forex. And if you'll notice here, by applying the rules that I've given you in my previous video, um, that this market has formed these swing bottoms each time higher than the next. Now, just by following this alone, trading in the direction where the market is showing higher swing bottoms, that is you just continually buy off these higher swing bottoms you would have done really well in the last month and a half buying the Australian dollar okay and this is easily exposed by the trend line indicator now another thing that you'll notice here that as long as prices continually make these higher swing bottoms uh, you are in good shape to keep buying in that regard now notice the last swing bottom right here and let me get a line tool here so I can draw it in but this was the last swing bottom and we see that price is recently moving down made this this outside bar and for now I've moved the line up to its highest peak but I have no idea whether um, that I'm gonna have to change this to uh, move down to this low and then start going up to the higher highs or if it's going to go lower based on what we see here if you remember what I uh, explained about outside bars so but for now that is the highest peak so I went ahead and move the line up but uh, it closed down here and it's threatening to take out this previous uh, swing bottom Another thing, too, is if it was to take out this swing bottom, not only would it be making a lower swing bottom somewhere down here, but it would have just made a lower swing top as well. And this would have been a strong indication that we could be looking at a trend change in the Australian dollar and should now be looking to sell lower swing tops as it makes its pattern downwards. Okay. And if you might remember in my previous video too is that for a bullish trend I'm only concerned about higher swing bottoms. I'm not overly concerned about the swing top locations. And as you can see here for good reason this is really a good example. Here we have lower swing top, lower swing top, lower swing top. Then it goes higher and higher. 
but during this period of time the market never went bearish because it continually made these higher swing bottoms that's pretty much key um, downward movements however a little difference we do want to see lower swing tops and lower swing bottoms on the bearish and that's just because it's been characteristic of bear trends to have both the lower swing tops and lower swing bottoms whereas bull trends characteristically uh, just having higher swing bottoms has been enough to to prove it as a bullish trend and that has definitely proved itself here now I happen to or uh, <clears throat> I happen to know that this has been taken out um, I took a snapshot of my trade station screen of the Australian US dollar as you see here and uh, <clears throat> this is a daily chart this is actually what it looks like um, as of a few minutes ago okay and here you can see where I have this trend line drawn just like I had it drawn uh, right here okay the only thing different is this you see the the angle of ascent here just looks less than this one only because of the way the chart is scaled um, I'm cramming more bars in this chart per inch than in that previous chart but it is the same exact chart same exact price bars everything is the same <clears throat> but here we get to see that uh, prices have now moved below this swing bottom that we had right here that was uh, indicated right on this chart right here okay and now you can see just continually moving uh, even lower <clears throat> at this point and then I kind of also shown an indication here that we we had a MACD crossover to the downside another confirmation that uh, things are getting bearish here so now we're looking at a lower swing top and also lower swing bottom so now when prices rally up again as they will of course to some degree we want to be looking at selling that again to continually go down as long as we have this pattern based on the trend line indicator now I will say however <clears throat> that um, I took advantage of this before it ever broke below this line and I and I sold it way up here and the reason why I was able to do that is because I'm using my F dates that our membership is based on so I anticipated I anticipated this drop that was going to happen here in the Australian dollar before it actually did it. Um, the trend line indicator, as I had shown in the previous video and in this one here, is a very powerful tool to help you to be on the right side of the trade. Um, however, you you would not be turning bearish until it had broken below this previous swing bottom. Whereas um, with the F dates and the way that I teach using F dates we got a big big jump on this move here that it it turned down uh, let me bring that up okay now here here is the um, uh, let me get that in there somehow centered it's it's a lot wider than than this um, video screen is this recorder right now but um, I think I got it in there. Give me a second here to uh, move the camera over. Okay, now you can see that it was um, Tuesday afternoon. It was 2.30 over here at our time period, uh, central time. And uh, I discussed uh, how the market, you know, did exactly as uh, I had reported. And we got our swing top on the exact day. And we got our swing bottom following that on the exact day. And and um, <clears throat> also, um, I wrote, if prices did rise up into the 11.14 time zone to match my earlier expectation of prices moving bullish into 11.14. And then, of course, a little humor on my part about the DeLorean uh, that I used to, you know, back to the future. If you ever watched that movie, you know, we use F dates into our flux capacitor. Anyway. And so now I'm, I'm telling, um, you know, look for a weekly swing top and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I didn't want to get into all this. 
what I wanted to bring out is right here. We have a pre-confirmation cell setup forming today so far in the AD. So we had the cell setup forming as of uh, the 13th in the evening here, the afternoon evening. And um, <clears throat> let me get this out of the way here. Okay, move that out of the way. Anyway, so that, that was just something that I had posted uh, a couple of days ago, which was right here. Okay, that's that bar right here in the afternoon. It was forming this. And then that evening, it made this little spike up here. And I knew that we had reached the extent because we were um, supposed to make this swing top here. This is the 11.7 swing top I forecasted in advance the 11.9 swing bottom I forecasted in advance and then this 11.14 swing top which is lower than here that I forecasted in advance and of course members knew about it they can wait to sell it right below the low which still turned out to be a great trade and, and, and we're not even done yet but I just got to jump on it because I knew that we would not make another higher high for the next day because it would be outside the realm of the F date. So this was to the this was the maximum extent that it could possibly go. Otherwise, the F date would not have been correct. So anyway, you can see why uh, you know I'm anticipating your question like, well, hey, you know, if we have this trend line indicator taught by W. Gann, why we bother with, you know, why would we want to bother with your F dates? Well, that's I've just demonstrated is a, is why you'd want to bother with F dates is because you can anticipate in advance when these terms will occur. You can note whether they're going to be likely lower tops or higher tops or lower bottoms or higher bottoms, and that gives you an advantage of getting ready, getting in a little bit earlier or at least confirming your expectation or confirming the swings uh, as they happen because um, the trend line indicator then shows, yep, sure enough, you did get that pattern. All right, well, this has been 12 minutes long here, so I'm just going to go ahead and let you go. Uh, plenty more videos coming in the future. So anyway, if you haven't done so already, I have a free newsletter and it doesn't cost anything. You see, it's free. So you ought to sign up for my free newsletter if you haven't done so already. It's at www.amazingaccuracy.com. At the end of this video, there's that's usually shown so you can you can see where that is. And on top of that too, of course, please subscribe to my YouTube channel here uh, so that you'll be informed of all future videos as most of them are actual forecast and you're going to want to know about them before the turns actually happen. Okay, so it's much more timely to be notified that the video is, is up and ready for you to view it so that you could be ready to take advantage of the free forecast that I provide to the public. And, of course, we have our membership. If you're real serious about your trading and uh, you want to get a jump on things and uh, lower your risk while increasing your profit opportunity, uh, it is definitely a real bargain to join our membership because uh, it definitely can line your pocket uh, once you learn how to, to use them. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.